Well, it's about six o'clock in the morning here at Wangaratta. And probably could have had some more sleep, but I did have a good sleep. But I just want to show you this just, uh, stunning, stunning sunrise. How good was that? Seriously. So beautiful. And the birds down here were just going ballistic this morning. It was amazing to wake up to. And now, coffee. Well, I'm back home now from my trip to Wangaratta South. Uh, went down to a friend's place down there to, uh, well, to help him plant some trees, set up some uh, wildlife monitoring cameras, and uh, yeah, just generally help out around the place. And I spent a bit of time in his bird hide there, which uh, is, is absolutely awesome. So just going to quickly run through some of the uh, the birds I photographed from the bird hide. And this is a, a delightful red rump parrot. This is the male. You can just see that red, red bum. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, welcome swallows. It was a bit funny with the welcome swallows. They, uh, they had a nest inside the hide, which I didn't realise when I first started uh, taking pictures there. But... Uh, yeah, they kept hovering up against the door and uh, it took me a while to realise why. And yeah, so I had to sort of uh, cut my visits to the hide short, but this is one of them waiting to get in. And you can see it's got a bit of uh, an insect in its bill waiting to feed its chicks. Uh, a red, uh, red browed finch that uh, came down to have a drink. Yeah, these absolutely stunning eastern rosella. So hard to get pictures of them, but... Yeah, this one's quite a way away, but uh, but still, you know, I got closer to it from being inside the hide than I would if I wasn't. Uh, but yeah, stunning, stunning parrot. Uh, red rump parrot again. Uh, they often came down for a drink, and uh, yeah, just uh, just beautiful birds. You can see that bit of a red rump on its bum there. Uh, yeah, bunnies, unfortunately, uh, rabbits are pest species here in Australia and cause a lot of damage. Uh, but this one came down for a bit of a nibble that. Uh, some of these uh, weeds that were growing uh, alongside the hide. 
Uh, this is a grey shrike thrush, uh, which uh, an, another bird that came down for a bit of a drink. Uh, has a beautiful melodic call. Very, uh, very pretty, pretty call. Uh, Willy Wagtail. Uh, it came down to have a bit of a bath, but uh, yeah, I just love Willy Wagtails. Just awesome birds. And there it is, yeah, having uh, having a bit of a wash. Uh, yeah, I had stayed for quite a while, actually. Uh, galahs came down and feeding in the grass. They didn't come down for a drink, which I was hoping I was going to be able to get some reflection pictures in the in the water there, but happy to be able to get them uh, feeding on the grasses. A uh, white-plumed honey eater. Uh, quite a few of them on the property, uh, but not too many came down for a drink. But, uh, yeah, nice to, nice to see. And this is, yeah, so the stars of the place, really, are these turquoise parrots. Absolutely stunningly beautiful parrot. And uh, yeah, lucky enough that uh, we put a hollow up uh, last year and they've started nesting in there and they've got chicks uh, in the hollow. This is the female going in. And uh, yeah, she's fed, fed them and now she's coming back out again. But And here's the male. I mean, look at those colours. They're just absolutely stunning. It's just a beautiful parrot. Not very big and incredibly camouflaged when it's on the grass. Um, you can just, uh, yeah, you can be walking around and not even see them and then they suddenly take off. But, yeah, the sun came out and it was sitting on top of the uh, star picket that holds the, the nesting hollow up. And you can just see that, uh, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous yellow breast on it. It's just stunning. And those blues and purples on the forehead. And, uh, yeah, he goes to the hollow and often feeds the female who's inside the hollow. And uh, yeah, and then he came down on the ground nearby just uh, to have a feed himself or whether he was filling up again to go back and feed the female, but he did take off shortly after that. And then just as I was leaving the property to come home, this dusky wood swallow uh, was sitting on the barbed wire fence there and seemed quite um, tired. Like I, I pulled the car up to open the gate to get out and it didn't want to leave. Uh, and then I realised I could see this uh, bit of uh, hair from the cattle in the property next door uh, stuck in the barbed wire fence and it was plucking at that and taking it up and obviously had a nest nearby so yeah that's a great sign as well so yeah so I had a really awesome time at Wangaratta South and uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video